How's everybody doing? And thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety, strobe lighting and equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, and very nice 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 2500s, like what you're looking at right here. Now, of course, we did do some emergency lighting. It's just under the grill there. You might be able to see it, but I do have the shop lights off to accentuate our backlit Chevrolet grill. Now, I've done this grill a number of times, and every time I do it, I do it a little nicer. So this time we painted the white back part of the light black. Very subtle difference. Most would never even know. However, it made the whole grill darker and a little bit nicer. Not the color of orange uh, darker, but the background. Um, and we also did a couple of other wiring uh, things on the back. It is plug and play. It's running right off of a headlight adapter on the driver's side headlight. Comes on with the parking lights automatically, as you can see. And we sell it in a couple of different ways. You can buy the plug and play plug all by itself if you want to do the whole grill project on your own. Or we're going to also sell the grill insert with the lights pre-wired with the connector. And all you'll have to do is glue it into the back of the grill. I got a nice video that shows you all about that. Now, on to the emergency lights. Let's see what we did to make this thing actually flash. By the way, if you notice on that license plate, this customer came all the way here from Iowa. We love our long road customers. We really appreciate it. It's very flattering when you guys make the, the trip to come see us here in Chicago. And I can't say how much I appreciate having the people that are confident enough with our brand and our image to make the journey and trust us to do their truck. This particular customer was first and foremost focused on that grill. That was what he wanted the most. And he said, as long as he was here, he might as well get some good caution lights tossed on the truck in case he ever needed it. And he wanted a little bit of floodlight in the rear for if he was camping or hunting or something like that. So we went in the front with a simple three inch M power in all amber. We alternated it on a pattern called intercycle. And one of those lights is set on alternate for the pattern. That's what you end up with when you synchronize them on that pattern. It's a very robust light. We did craft a nice recessed mount here in the shop for that light. It's very easy to do. Otherwise, if you didn't want to do that, you could also mount it a little bit higher in the grill above the Chevrolet logo right into the core support. You don't necessarily need to make the mounts. You can mount it a little higher by just drilling a hole straight through. And uh, when you look at your own grill, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. I'm going to leave the shop lights off for a little while, but I will film this at the end with shop lights on. In the rear, same deal, but this is a two-color M-Power light. This is an amber-white light. And by using Table 2 in the programming instructions, you're able to flash it only amber even though it's an amber white light it's awesome because that allows you the white portion for steady on which is exactly what we wanted we wanted an all amber warning with the ability to rear flood in white which many of our lights have many of our own lights here at wicked warnings as well as at other manufacturers such as this sound off signal m power and as you can see here, with switch number two on his auxiliary switches, he's able to steady on the rear M power in white. Now that will override the amber warning if the amber warning happens to be on. So if you're in warning mode and you need a little bit of floodlight behind you, you can hit switch two and override it. Just because it's a two color light does not necessarily mean you must flash both colors. That's the takeaway from this video, is a lot of our two color lights are able to be used on either color independently or together, your choice. Now here's a back shot of about how much light that's actually putting out. I would say it's sufficient enough to light up a two car garage if you're backing into your garage at night, but it's not gonna do a whole lot more than that because it is just a couple of M-Power lights. If you were looking for much larger, brighter backup lighting, you could take a look at some of our Baja, like an S1 or an S2, or our SS3 lights, and they are sole purpose flood lighting. They do not do any warning, they're just white lighting. When you need a uh, bigger volume of white light you have to get away from the dual purpose light and uh and just go with a steady flood purpose built only light now we took advantage of the factory auxiliary switch kit here which we installed for them while they were here as well and why not use switch number one and two if you don't have one of these factory auxiliary switches and your truck is before the refresh meaning you have that eight inch radio not the real wide new Cadillac looking radio, and you want those switches, it's really not that hard to add them in. So if you don't have them and you're interested, please drop us an email and we can get you that kit. We just need to know whether your truck is key start or not and a couple of the other details. 
If you didn't have those switches, you could also install two of our rocker switches and be just fine with that. So I said in the beginning, I was gonna film this in the bright shop lights. And as you can see, we're back in with all of our LED lighting on. And you can see how prominent that grill still is. I'll be straight up honest, in the bright of daylight, you can still see the grill. So if you like that while you're running around during the day, just roll that parking switch from auto over to parking to kick on the parking lights and you'll get the roof lights up top, the mirrors, your new Chevrolet grill. And that's how you can run around during the day if you prefer. Underneath it again, the M Power 3 in amber. Very nice, very powerful morning light. Out back, again, our M Power 3 dual color, amber white with the alternating amber, as well as a flood white mode. And as you can see, with the help of our lovely assistant, Sarah, we're able to put the truck in reverse and illuminate those LED replacement reverse light bulbs. We also threw the cargo light switch on, which lights the mirrors and the cargo light. So if you were really backing into your garage and you hit the cargo switch and your flood switch, you're gonna get all of this white lighting in, uh, in the back, which is pretty impressive for factory, uh, factory lighting plus two M powers. So to recap this video, I hope you enjoyed watching everything. This entire system was really easy to wire up. It's using our two power cables that were most frequently used here in the shop. It's our 22-5 power control and our 18-5 power control. A very easy system for any novice to put in. And as I said, if you're unsure about the mounting of the lights in the front grill, just go ahead and go above that Chevrolet logo and you'll be able to mount right to the core support. So thanks again for tuning in to Wicked Warnings. Check out the description of the video for all the details and we'll see you on the next one.